Hi, this is Amanda, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this swim cover-up dress. You can use any yarn that you like and any crochet hook that you have. I used a crochet hook that's a little bit bigger than the one the yarn recommends, so it'll fit a little looser. Start with a slip knot, and we're going to make a foundation double crochet. So first, chain three. This counts as the first double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook under the two loops of the first chain, and pull your yarn through. Then pull your yarn through just that first loop, and that makes the foundation. And then finish the double crochet. So pull through two, and then pull through two. That's your second double crochet. And I'll show you again. So yarn over, insert the hook into that foundation chain um, under the two loops, and pull the yarn through. Pull it through one loop to make the foundation, and then pull it through two loops, and then two loops again to finish the double crochet stitch. And then just keep going until you have a foundation double crochet chain that is twice the length that you want your dress to be. The number of stitches needs to be a multiple of three, and then add one more. I have a chart here for those of you who like charts. We're working in triple crochets. So chain four for the first triple crochet, then chain one more for a chain one space, and then we're gonna do a triple crochet decrease. So yarn over twice, insert hook into that first double crochet, pull yarn through two, pull yarn through two, and don't pull your yarn through the last two, you're gonna yarn over twice again and start a new uh, triple crochet. Skip two spaces, do that triple crochet, and then you're gonna finish them both at the same time and pull through all three loops. So, sorry that was a little fast. I'll show you again a little slower and close up. So chain two, and we're gonna do another triple crochet decrease. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the same stitch as last time, pull yarn up, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over twice, skip two, another triple crochet, and then you finish both of them at the end with the three loops on the hook. And then continue this all the way to the end. So here I'm making the last triple crochet decrease. The last one's going to be in that beginning chain three of that foundation double crochet. And then you're going to chain one and do one triple crochet in that last stitch. And then turn your work and move up to the third row. So we're gonna chain four and we're gonna triple crochet in that top of that triple crochet decrease. And then chain two and we're gonna continue with that triple crochet decrease pattern.
So yarn over twice, insert the hook into the top of that triple crochet decrease from the previous row, and then the next one. Chain two and just go all the way to the end. Now we're at the end of row three. And this one's a little bit different. We're gonna make the last triple crochet decrease into the last stitch. Uh, the second part of the triple crochet decrease is in that chain, the fourth chain of that chain five that we had at the beginning. And then we're going to repeat rows two and three. For row six, we're just gonna do double crochets across. Chain three. That counts as a double crochet. I guess that's wrong on the chart. And then you're gonna put two double crochets in the chain two space. And then one double crochet at the top of the triple crochet decrease. All the way across. If you wanted to, you could pull them apart so they're evenly spaced, or you could leave them grouped together, however you prefer. And then here I did another row of double crochets on top of all of those double crochets. And then I'm spacing these apart. And that's the pattern, you'll just repeat rows two and three twice and then two rows to double crochet and keep going until it's the size you want it to be. You're going to end with just one row of double crochet and then you're going to make a second panel that's exactly the same. Then drape each panel over the shoulders. Here I'm just showing you a close up when you end with the double crochet rows it looks finished so you don't have to add an edging later. And here's what it looks like from the side with it draped over the shoulder. And then just pin it with the stitch markers where you want it to be seamed. How big you want the armhole to be, if you want to slit at the bottom, decide your neckline. Here I'm showing you a v-neck, a deep v-neck on the front. Here on the back, it's all the way up. And here's a v-neck on the back. And here's how we seam the sides. So I have right sides facing together and I'm starting on the side of the dress and I'm not gonna have a slit on mine so I'm starting all the way at the bottom. If you want a slit just start further up. Insert the hook under both stitches at the end of each panel and then just make a single crochet. 
and then line them up and single crochet all the way across. Stop when you get to the part where you want your armhole to be. So here's what it looks like finished. I just ended it there. And from this front, since we have one row of double crochet on the end of each panel, when it's seamed together, it makes two. So it blends the pattern. And here's what it looks like on the mannequin. And then seam the other side the same way. Seam the front and the back up until however low you want your neckline to be. Add a slit if you'd like. I made mine a deep V neck in the front. And I also made a deep V in the back, so I added a chain across the top so that the dress won't fall off my shoulders. So I just marked it with the stitch markers where I wanted the chain to go and measured how long the chain needs to be. Just insert the yarn and just chain across. Use your tape measure to figure out how long it needs to be. And then just attach it on the other side. And it's done. Here's how it fits. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.